Hello YouTube world, welcome to my workshop. What I'm going to do for you today is just a nice lidded box or pot. I would turn us call anything with a lid a box. So what I've got today is this piece of U. U is a beautiful wood to turn. Um, it shines up beautiful, you get a lovely finish to it, you get lovely colours running through it. Biggest problem with U it never grows in a very uniform shape. If you can see in there, it's got a huge great piece in there. By the time I turn that away, it's not going to be very big at all. Never uh, grows. What I'll do now is I'll just get and turn some of this away and just see what we end up with. doing if I was turning something like this I'd have gone in there with a with my part and off chisel and gone in just to give me a to give me a tenon on there so I could hold it in the jaws of the chuck so it would hold it much more securely but what I've done is I've actually just found the rough center of the wood on both ends and put it in and I'm not sure if that's actually where I want to be because if that is deeper than that because you can see at the moment I'm turning this away and I'm not touching that which is the opposite side of that. So really, I don't want to be taking any more away from there. So that piece of wood actually wants to move this way so that I take more off of here than I do off of there. If that makes sense to you. You can also start to see on there those lovely colors. Well, that's very, very roughly cut at the moment. You can see there's pur purple streaking through there. You can see the orange, and you can see that cream, lovely cream colour coming through there as well. You can see the size of that hole in there now. By the time I turn that way, I'm not going to have much wood left there at all. So I need to move that over. The problem that now gives me, as you see, that's why at a balance. So you see now I've got that down to size, so it's a nice uniform, apart from a little bit there. I just need to take a little bit more out of there. So I'm going to do that, probably uh, cut it off around there somewhere and make a lid. I might cut that in half and make two out of that. What I'm going to do next, I'm going to just turn this around because I want to make that my base so that I can make that smaller and then I'll cut that piece off there and then that will be my top. So what I've done there is I've turned the piece around in the truck and I'm just taking the bottom down and this will just be the bottom curve and lead me down to the foot of the bowl. Um, this has worked. I've worked it this way so that I can get rid of that big hole in there uh, because I would have probably made this narrower at the bottom anyway just to give it a nice, a nice shape, a nice cut feel to it. So it's just a matter now of just taking the wood away and just trying to lose that hole in there. Only if you see when I'm going through with the chisel, what I'm doing, I've gone back to my 3 8 bowl gauge or spindle gauge, and as I come down, you'll see, and what I do is I just roll the chisel over, and as I roll that chisel over, that just automatically gives me that curve on the bottom. So if you notice in a minute when I start cutting this, I go through, so I'm rubbing the bevel, which gives me the nice finish. And then as I come through, and you see now, I'm just starting to gradually roll that chisel over. It brings the end round, 
and rolls it over at the same time. And then that gives me that lovely curved shape. So now I've just gone and taken wood away, as I say, until I get rid of that hole. So I've taken that down um, far enough to get rid of that hole, but that's also given me quite a nice shape on there. What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to go in with my thin parting off tool. I think that's about three millimeters wide. Um, I'm going to just go in with the parting off tool and now I'm just going to take that lid off. You notice there I make two cuts. That's because this parting off tool doesn't have any clearance on it. And if you try to cut through wood that thick as it is, it rubs and it will just burn the wood and make the tool very hot. So what I do is I just go in, I make two cuts, just slightly widen the actual chisel itself. And that's just enough to stop the tool from getting too hot from burning the wood. So I've gone in because that is only such a small chisel I can't go all the way through on such a thick piece of wood so what I've done there I've got a Japan tool and I will just go through and take that off by hand. This piece of course will give me the lid for the box. So what I'm going to do now is just curve over the top of this bar just to give it a more softer feel really, get rid of that hard edge and just gradually turn that over so it just gives the bowl a really nice feel. So I suppose really you just pick it up, cup it in your hands and it just feels natural when you pick it up. So that is pretty much the shape I want. I left a small foot, a very small foot on the bottom. And now we've got to the final shape that I want. I can go to sanding. I won't polish it, uh, put sand and seal or polish on because I'm going to hollow it in a minute. And I'm going to do all of that in one go. So I've sanded that down now to 800 grit. It's nice and smooth. Beautiful finish on there. Some lovely grain pattern running through there. Let's see that better. Nice big knot in there. Another one there. That's some of the outer skin. Just a little bit of that purple left showing. So what I'm going to do now is just hollow that out and then we can get and fit the lid. So I've done I've gone through the centre of the enforcement bit just to open up through to the middle and now I'm just going to hollow this out with my gold gauge. I've finished hollowing and what I'm going to do now is just put a couple of black lines just for decoration 
around the thickest part of this bowl and I'm going to do that, I'm going to burn that in with a piece of wire. So I'll go in with the skew chisel first, I just mark where I want the two grooves to be or the two lines to be. Just two parallel lines and the third one is going to be at the bottom where the foot is. To do this I just use this just ordinary piece of garden wire. I have no idea what gauge it is. Um, there you can see the wire and all I've done is I've turned up a couple of toggles, one on either end. And all you do, get the lathe spinning quite a high speed and then just hold it in place. After a while the rope, the wire heats up and you get a burn line, nice even groove with a burn line right the way through. It was at this point I went and opened up the garage, uh, the uh, workshop door and uh, turn my fan off, get rid of that smoke. That looked very nice. So here's another one just to put the base. These are, as I say, these are purely decorative, but they do like, look nice. They do make quite a nice feature if you've, uh, if you've got something like this, quite a plain bowl. As you see, I didn't make that groove quite deep enough, the wire kept skipping out. Now now it's found its way, it's cutting its way through. And that's it. I've now applied two coats of sand and sealer and I'm just applying the final coat of wax. I'm just buffing this up now with a clean piece of cloth and you'll see the lovely shine appearing on there almost straight away. This is uh, inside and outside, really lovely shine. As you can see, I've fitted the piece of wood that I cut off earlier. This is to now form the lid. So the first thing I want to do is just clean up the bottom, give me a nice clean flat surface to work from. So just go across, take a couple of cuts with my chisel. And then the next thing I need to do is make a recess in there because in a minute I want to be able to turn that round. Pretty good. So here you see the lid's finished, it's a nice shape, fits nicely on the pot and that was a tenon so I need to turn that away and then just clean up the top of that lid. And here you see, got on my chisel and I'm just taking the, the 
10 in the way. Just gradually working away. On top of this, I'm not changing my mind. Instead, I'm just going for a nice domed top. The colour and the grain pattern coming through. I don't really think it needed anything else to enhance it. It was just a very pretty piece on its own. That's what it was really, just a matter of just taking it away and just tidying it up. Well, there you go, YouTube world, that's the lid. Did you see some pretty purple colour running through there and through there? And some lovely grain pattern running through there. And that purple has carried on through the inside of the lid. And it's also carried on inside of there. And there we go. What a nice little piece. I was aware that was a huge great hole in the side was. Very nice piece. You see the other piece sat there behind it. Well, there you go, YouTube world. Another product. Another quite a nice little piece. Up on somebody's dressing table. Maybe. A few little knickknacks. As I said at the beginning of the video, you is lovely wood to work with. Always gives you a great finish. Very nice piece. Well, thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Steve Howe, and this has been another great day in my workshop.